Today we are visiting EPIC member Nereos, and so from what I understand, this is the only spectrometer in the world with a range from 400 nanometers to 4.5 microns. Really? Yeah, we, we are developing such a device. Okay, so what I, you have a whole family of devices. First, I'm very interested about this Gemini interferometer. So can you give me a little briefing on this? What is special about this interferometer, different than others? Aside from, how did you get it so small? Yeah, <laughs> it is very small, actually. If you compare that with a Mikkelsen interferometer, yeah. for example, which is very big, uh, that's very small. So that's the first advantage of that. And you can use it in many applications for spectroscopy, either you know, linear or nonlinear spectroscopy, time resolved as well. Yes. You can measure the spectrum with this device here. So it's a plug and play tool. So optical bench space is very precious. So what you mean, so this is all I need to add to my optical bench, right? Correct. I mean, I won't have to reconfigure. Okay, so we're talking about research, but let's start getting into the industrial here. So you're telling me that this spider, I combine this with the Gemini, and what do I get? What capabilities? Is it? This the sphere? What's the range on this one? Correct. That's an amplified detector from 320 up to 1700 nanometers. 320 to 1700, one Correct. device. Do you have super cooling or anything? Correct. No, without any cooling. Wait, there's no cooling on this. No. And you can couple with the Gemini and you get the broadband spectrometer in one shot, you know. Um, that's the say. This is just amazing, really. I mean, I'm in shock because this is really, where else does this capability exist? Yeah, correct. So, wow. Okay, but we have more. So you have hyperspectral cameras as well. So tell me about the HERA. Like, tell me about these hyperspectral cameras. What's unique? Like, from what I understand, with a lot of hyperspectral, okay, we get a lot of information with each cube, but it can be a very slow scan. Yeah. You have a solution for this, right? Yeah, correct. So uh, as you can see here, we have two models, the black one and the red one. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. address two different spectral ranges. That's a sphere and that's the VisNear model. So that's more in the visible, that's more in the infrared. Wait, SWIR? Really? Correct. Yeah, from 900 to 1700 nanometers. 900 to 1700 nanometer hyperspectral camera. Yeah, okay. correct. And let's say I'm scanning an apple, like how long would that take? It would take but, like a 10 seconds. So you, you mean 10 seconds? So if I, so like we, we could do this experiment later. So 10 seconds, basically, boom, and yeah. I have a full SWIR and that scan of this device. Correct. I mean a device of the yeah. apple. Yeah. yeah, correct. It's just a point and shoot camera as you would do with a reflex, you know? So you stare at your sample and you press one click and you get the hyperspectral. A camera. point and shoot camera, except yeah. that what, one gigabyte data file or something? Or enormous less, yeah. amount of information. Enormous. So this is highly useful in industry, right? If I want to analyze agricultural products or textiles or you name it because of your sphere range. Yeah, right? correct. Epic members drive the photonics revolution. 